Hello, YouTube Kodandi here. Yes, I am still sick. No, I don't want to talk about it. Today, we are going to talk about pain and suffering because I have come out of pain and suffering. And this is something that my guru, Bhagawan Sri Nithyananda Paramashivam, has been talking about in his daily satsangs. And I think it's a good time to talk about this because um, I've noticed that on my YouTube channel, the videos where I talk about being sick get a lot more clicks and watches than the videos where I talk about actual yogic spiritual principles, which is really interesting. So like, are people more interested in me talking about how I'm sick and suffering? Or are people actually interested in learning about spiritual growth? Like, I don't know. Welcome to the Third Eye Awake channel where I talk about yogic and spiritual living without all of that new age weird stuff. So my guru in his recent satsangs and I will, I'll find the link, I'll link it to you in the show more section if you want to see specifically what he has said and what he is talking about. He was talking about how we should deny pain and suffering and that when we deny pain and suffering we begin to live like divine beings. You know, that's, that's sort of the, the gist of what he was saying. You know, at first it's like, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute, how, how is that even possible? Like, there's so much bad stuff going on in the world, I have so many problems, you know, what if you break your leg, <laughs> you know, all of this kind of stuff, all of these ideas come to mind. But this is, this is a concept that occurred to me, you know, years ago when I started doing programs and started learning about his teachings and started learning about, you know, sort of the true yogic principles, you know, that we are more than our bodies that we exist on, you know, more levels than just this physical plane and that we are capable of experiencing so much more that the physical experience of the body, the physical experience of the world is only a small part of what we are capable of experiencing. I don't really have time in this video to go into, you know, everything that he gets into in, in some of these satsangs. Maybe I'll make a lot of videos. I don't know. It's starting to rain, so I'm, I'm going to make this quick. So wherever this pain or suffering is coming from, whether it is someone or something outside of ourselves trying to impose this pain and suffering on us, or whether it is something inside of ourselves trying to impose this pain and suffering on us, that's a lot of power that we're giving to whoever or whatever that is. If it's someone or something outside of ourselves, we're giving a lot of power to that person or that situation. If we're allowing them that ability to cause pain or suffering in our internal space. If it's inside of ourselves, if it's some memory, some past trauma, some, you know, whatever, we're giving a lot of power to some memory of something that no longer exists. We're giving a lot of power to someone who is gone, who is dead, who is no longer existing in our present moment. We're giving a lot of power to the past. We're giving a lot of power to whatever it is in our inner space to cause us pain and suffering. We're giving up a lot of our own personal power to whoever, whatever, externally, whoever, whatever, internally. If, if we're letting that pain and suffering happen, we're giving up that power. And um, we don't need to do that. We don't need to give up our personal power and let that pain and suffering happen. Now, of course, like, if you break your leg, you should get medical care, right? <laughs> like that's, that's something you should take care of. Like if there is a problem in the world, you should address it. If something is wrong, 
if there's some injustice if there is some injustice happening you should address it like if there is some injury some accident if something is happening you should address it but allowing pain and suffering to happen you know that's giving up power and if you can maintain your power if you can hold on to your power and not get caught up in the pain and suffering, you are in a better position to be able to address whatever the situation is that's happening. Whether it's simply to address your own, you know, whatever trauma, whatever memories, whatever it is that's happening within you, or whether it's some situation that's going on around you. So that is just a little bit just a little bit I mean it's just I will I will find these videos so you can you can see but there's a lot there's so much really you know we should not we should not be suffering you know <laughs> we did not take birth on this planet to suffer we did not take birth on this planet to be in pain we should not be living lives of pain and suffering we should be living lives of bliss and enlightenment. So taking the step to deny pain and suffering in your life and claim your power, this is an important spiritual step. This is an important spiritual step to living a life of bliss and enlightenment. And I invite you all to take this step. Now it is, um, it's really, it's, it's starting to get it's really starting to rain out here. So I'm going to end this video and go inside. Thank you all. Nithinandam.